Before we proceed, please note that this video is made by AI, but all the content is manually researched by our team, and it's not AI generated. Ever found yourself in the middle of an intense gaming session on Star Wars, The Old Republic, only to be abruptly interrupted by the dreaded error code C1? This error reads, this program encountered an internal error and will exit. Error code C1. Client initialization failed. Failed to initialize player client. As per the information shared by the users, they can access the launcher, but as they tap play, the launch window closes and nothing else happens, and after a few minutes they receive this error. During our research, we were unable to find any official workarounds for the error, but we were able to find many users' shared workarounds on the different communities and forums which you can try. Before we delve into the fixes, it's always a good practice to restart your gaming device and check for any pending updates for the game. If there are, install them and see if this resolves the error. Our first fix involves running SWTOR in compatibility mode. Begin by right-clicking on the SUTOR shortcut and selecting Properties. Follow this by selecting Compatibility, then checking the box that says Run this program in compatibility mode 4. Use the drop-down box to select Service Pack 3, apply the changes, and hit OK. The second fix requires a bit of tinkering with the game's settings. Press the Windows plus R key to open the Run dialog box, then type percent local app data percent sutork sutork settings and press OK. Open the client underscore settings.ini file in Notepad and ensure the following are displayed. Full screen equal sign false D3, D full screen equal sign false refresh rate equal sign 60. Our third fix involves disabling desktop composition. On Windows 7, right-click on the SWTOR shortcut, select Properties, and navigate to the Compatibility tab. Check the options, Run as Admin, and Disable Desktop Composition, then hit OK. If the error persists, move on to the fourth fix, which involves removing the ByTrader folder from the SWTOR files on your PC. This will initiate a rebuild and repair process. For Linux users, the fifth fix involves changing to the latest version of Proton. This has helped some users overcome the error. Lastly, if all else fails, don't hesitate to reach out to game support. They are there to help resolve these issues and make sure you can get back to enjoying your game. In summary, we have discussed six potential fixes for the error code C1 on Star Wars, The Old Republic. These include running the game in compatibility mode, tweaking the game's settings, disabling desktop composition, removing the ByTrader folder, changing to the latest version of Proton for Linux users, and reaching out to game support. If you like this information, don't forget to subscribe, it will be a great support. And for more tech updates, visit queries.com.